Action! Hello and welcome to the Northeast FPV Secret Bunker where today we're going to unbox a lovely aeroplane and it's something really special. And here we are, I did say it was something special and it's the Pit Special V2. Beautiful looking aircraft. When I first saw this was coming up for sale, I thought to myself, I'm going to have one of them. It's got my name on it. So here it is, it's arrived. Absolutely can't wait to get it out of the box. It's got some fantastic features. Uh, it's got a 4258 brushless motor, 50 amp hobby wing um, DSC. Um, 17 gram servos. Believe you me, you need 17 gram servos for this type of aircraft because you're going to be chucking it all over the sky. Anyway, right, let's get it out the box right now and see what it looks like. So there we are, we've got rid of the outside box, so let's have a look what's in the inside the box. Wow, bring, bring it over a bit. And there we are. Now I have to say, this is probably one of the best packaging I've ever seen on, a, on an AC aircraft. It's, it's just, it's, it's brilliant. So let's get into it. Right. right, it's all out the box here. And as you can see, I think we need a bigger table in the, uh, in the secret bunker because it just manages to fit on the top of the, the table here. So, one thing that I've, that I've noticed is the finish on this is out of the box is as good as I've ever seen. Um, that's just my personal opinion. You know, the decal is very well laid on, obviously. Um, that's exactly what I'm looking for, especially with this type of aircraft, because it is an iconic aeroplane and you do want it to look like the real thing. Uh, even though it is a, a scale model, you do want to look, have that presence in the air. And I have to say, the Curtis Pit Special is a very iconic machine. So, uh, looking at the, the fuselage, what you, you cannot believe the size of this. The volume it must have inside of it is absolutely massive. You know, you won't have any problems putting any amount of kit in there. Receiver, you don't need a micro one. It would run on a valve equivalent of. Um, the cockpit, wow, look at the detail on that. It's unbelievable. You know, it, it's a classic FMS uh, pilot that you get. I think they put it in every one, am I right, Jess? Yes. Yeah, it's always the same guy. Surprised he's not worn out by now. And you will just pop that down and let you have a quick look on the inside. Very clean, very large, cavernous absolutely massive area that you've got in there to, to work with you know and um, one of the things which I've noticed is it has a very good battery tray which actually clips clips out you know so you can get your battery in there good positive click pull it right out if you want strap your battery in there plenty of room and uh, not sure what size battery I'm going to use I'm going to try a few different ones see which one balances perfectly, get the best out of the machine, best duration, best vertical performance. Um, you know, all the rest of the, the, the panels, absolutely beautifully manufactured. The um, hinges, excellent. I believe they've been laminated, but if you just, you can just see a little bit of, bit of the foam shown through, but don't worry about that. I think that's just the surface paint that's cracked. So, that's excellent. Right then, so we'll pop that back on there. Right. Just check all the rest of it. Tail, beautiful. Classic pitch, you see. Beautiful. How does that tail clip on? Ah, well, we'll get to that because I'm actually going to build it. Oh, brilliant. Oh, yeah. Without a doubt, this is going together. Brilliant. You know? So I'm just checking out all the bits and pieces that we've got. You get a, a nice little hardware pack. Um, very simple, very few screws on this one. A couple of push rods, ideal. Uh, one of the things which is, uh, which is, this is slightly larger than what I'm used to use. Um, we're going 6S here, 6S. 
<laughs> Sorry, where did that come from? <laughs> and what size props are there? It's 15 by 9 So it is going to have plenty of torque um, I don't think it's really We're not talking about a speed machine for the pit special We're talking about power. sheer grunt and power torque yeah. Torque to get it up there you know, Which is why there's going to be two of these right, One for the one for the one <laughs> Uh, you know them carbon fibre? any problems with that. What? They're carbon fibre yeah, or nylon? Carbon fibre. De oh yeah, carbon fibre all the way with that. Beautiful, beautiful. And the other thing that I'm, I'm really taken by is the way this thing goes together. I've already t took it home and, uh, you know, because Simon was very good to collect it for us. And uh, so he said, take it home and get familiar with it. So he's trying, you know, know what all the parts are so that when we do this video you'll know what you're talking about so i started away and i got it and i thought oh that's that's quite good uh, well that fits on there oh excellent yes and then i have a confession to make i just got carried away and I accidentally built it brilliant <laughs> brilliant uh, so I, I i thought i better dismantle this i better dismantle this to do the actual video unboxing so there you go so there's me confession done and dusted. <laughs> right, so you're forgiven. <laughs> thank you very much, Simon. <laughs> uh, so what we're going to do now is we're going to um, get this ready to build. So if you just give it a few minutes, well, we'll quickly cut the camera there, and uh, we'll be back to start the build. Which, believe you me, this is going to be so easy. Thanks very much. Well, here we are. It's ready to go together, and believe it or not, I think it's going to be a quick build. Um, one of the things that you have to do with this particular type of aircraft is build it from the ground up over. So the best way is you need a stand. As soon as you've got that the right way, you can start you can begin your build. Right, main thing is, I need to make sure I didn't fall off the stand. Right, first thing to do, get the wings on. The lead got in, get the lead pushed through. Spot on, look at that, beautiful fit. I like it when it's a first time fit. You need to use the um, short screws, uh, three millimeter, and this is the wonderful thing about this aircraft. All you need is two tools, a little posy screwdriver, a little tiny wee little thing, and a two millimeter Allen key. And then this goes together like a dream, very, very quickly. Very enjoyable to build. Not like it was when I was a young lad, it took us about a fortnight to build a 10 inch wingspan SE 5A. But hey ho, things have changed. That was about 100 years ago, was it right? Uh, no, that was when I was 20 years ago, mate. Um, I think that's the maths on it. That makes me 29, that's about right, yeah. yeah. If you believe that, you believe anything. Yeah, it was actually 52 years ago. My good God, where did that time go? Good in place. Yeah. So as you can see, it's brass, hex insets, lovely, just slides in, easy peasy. Can't get much simpler than that. Now the next thing that you put on is the undercarriage. Even that's easy. Especially for this type of aircraft, because sometimes you wonder if it's strong enough. Believe you me, this is more than strong enough. Um, just take that screw out there, don't know what it's doing here. Very easy to put in. There we go, that's that one. So this slots in, just like that. Obviously that lines up with the little spigots coming out from the fuselage. Once you've got that like that, the next thing to do is put the 20mm M3 bolts in using your 2 mm Allen Allen key. And once again, you'll find that they will go in absolutely no problem whatsoever. Obviously, you have to put the, the nylon nut 
inside of the spigot and you get a number of them put them in they just press in and um, if you find it's a little bit loose put a drop of you pour glue on something like that just to hold it in just while they are maneuvering the uh, the parts around to stop them falling out and it might be helpful um, if you actually need to take the wings off uh, to get into your car or your vehicle if you live in America. <laughs> Let's get one. Just be a bit careful when you're putting these ones in. And what you don't want to do is scratch the paintwork. So just make sure you bend it slightly over. Last thing you want to do is scratch a brand new model before it's ever been in the air. Now you can tighten them as much as you like. Well, not as much as you like, but till they're, till they're taut. Uh, the reason being is because they actually spring on that bolt that goes through. So that's acting as a spindle. That's right, yes. Um, when I first thought about it going again, I thought, wow, what happens if I over tighten this? But it just goes into the hole and it just sits there um, for it to, as you say, to spindle on. And the beauty of this is it feels absolutely rock solid because you've got to remember it's actually the rod is so thick and it's going into the fuselage as well as these which are giving you extra strength which I think is fantastic and um, I've seen different versions of um, undercarriage on this type of aircraft but this is probably the best I've seen. So then spots and covers are they a plastic or foam? They are plastic very beautifully moulded the decals on are excellent I mean it's unbelievable you know you don't expect to see those so perfectly put on you know yeah they should be but every now and again they get one wrong and I've got a good one but you never know I think, I think the production of this aircraft is brilliant. I think everyone will come out of the factory exactly the same. Uh, you put a little plastic plate on and then you put four little tiny, tiny little screws in. At one point I was thinking, are they big enough? Yes, of course they are. Because it's all locking into place perfectly. No movement on it whatsoever. Fantastic. Very quickly get the rest of these in. And one more to go. We've got this in place, that's it, it's time to flip her over and then see about putting the upper wings on and that's when it really starts to transform itself. That and we can actually work on that on the table. There we are, that's much better. Much much better. Right, there's a number of places you can start. You could put the tail on, you could put the upper wings on. Personally, I think I'd rather put the tail on. Um, which is very easy to do. Same again, a number of screws uh, to hold it in place. And um, Sandra. Now one of the features that I really like on this uh, FMS special is the fact that they're using a slotted system on the wings the wing struts and the rudder which makes a massive difference for you to actually just be able to locate it in quite literally you slot it in now one of the things that you have to do very important when you're slotting the tail in is make sure you line up the tail wheel you know, because obviously I think you like the tail wheel to turn with the rudder Now that makes a massive difference. Once it's located, just slice in, no problem. One last screw to put in to hold it all together. And I'm not quite sure which one it is. I think it might be the short one. I don't want to be
simple as beautiful. And as I say, I do like the slotted system, I thought that they use, and it doesn't get much easier than this. Quite literally, I'll show you on this wing first so you can see it in the, in the camera. It is this just slots in. How simple is that? Can you show me that again, Ray? Right? Yeah, of course I can. Yeah. It's as simple as that then. It's got little pegs on there, it goes into that. You've got to make sure it's this right way. Okay, so you've got the larger element down the bottom and the smaller one above. And it just goes down, slots in. On the old V1, you used to have to glue the wings together. So quite literally, I, I looked at that aircraft, the V1, and I wasn't quite happy that I, would, I couldn't take the wings off because I know there'd be times when I wanted to get it in a car. With well, this, it would take minutes to, to demount the wings and put it in the car if you need to. This, fortunately, will go into my car. Won't go into my wife's car, but will go in mine. <laughs> Which I'm quite happy about, and so is my wife. But there you go. What sort of car do you drive for it? It's a silver limousine. Which, and that's what I call it, it's affectionately called that, but it is an actual banger of a car, which is a Laguna. A Renault? A Renault Laguna. <laughs> My pride and joy. It gets us everywhere I want to go, and back again. Brilliant. <laughs> right then, so now we're coming to do the other wing. Uh, obviously, with the wings being new, a good idea to just give them a bit of flex. Just because you're now going to be driving four ailerons with two servos. So just give, give them an easy job to do, just give them a little bit of flexing. Now this can be a little bit, tiny little bit awkward be, until you've done it the first time. Uh, because you have to actually put that bottom strut on, slide it on and then drop that in place. Which is not too bad, um, you know, because as I say, it's the slot system in quite literally you just put it in place like that. It's not the easiest position to do it in. Slot it in and then slide the wing forward and then that's it done. And that slots into there perfectly. Right, one of the main things you have to remember is to put the carpet rod in, rod in before you actually put the other one in. So it just slides in. Right, but and we'll have the next part of the wing. See in again, flex the Flex the foam, get an easy job to do. Stop that in place, move it on. Have to lift both up and then drop them back down onto those spigots. Okay. Then, same again, get that lined up, slot it back, job done. Next thing is two, two plastic plates. Easy to do, can't get them in the wrong way. Put them in, then put the screws in. So easy, you know. I can see a situation where if I can't get in the car or whatever, or I want to take two models to the airfield, air I'll be able to take the wings off reasonably quickly um, and just slot it into the car minus the wings. Might even just be the upper wings after we move to get into the car. We'll soon find out. There we go, tighten those down, and we're virtually. Finished the build, apart from putting the propeller on, which is easy enough to do, uh, and by putting the push rods on. So these come, you know, as I say, 15 by 9 prop, beautiful, goes on, no problem. The uh, the push rods, very good quality, um, actually come with the, the um, silk insulator, you know, so you can pull over to stop them coming away. Very easy to put on, you just line them all up. Um, same for the, you get push rods for the um, for the tail surfaces, all pre pre measured. Uh, the ball joints, perfect. It's exactly what you want. You want something which is frictionless, because when you start clicking this thing around the sky, you really are going to make it sing and dance in that blue sky. So there we go. That's it done. Beautiful machine. Looks fantastic. Can't wait to get it in the air. Itching to get it in the air. I hope these these storms. Die down. Just can't wait to fly it. I want to see the prop on. Oh, right. Okay. Right, well, we can do that, no problem. There we go. 
Can you turn the flame around a little bit, Ray? Yes, sir, you can. Tell you what, I'll come around to. Uh, yeah, the camera's going to get that. That's good. Yeah. Um, right. It's a hex axe bit, so there's going to be more slipping around there. Just got to get it lined up. And beautiful fit to that. Yeah, I'll tell you what, we'll put the prop on the right way this time. I find it always helps. <laughs> right, and what's nice to finish it off is you just drop your little screw in there. Same again, Allen key, and that finishes off the whole look of the aircraft. Yeah, the V. One had a three blade prop where I've looked at the actual, you know, KV rating of the motor and the power output of the motor, and this is going to go into the air, no problem, Verti endless vertical, plenty of grunt, plenty of torque. Gonna love this baby. Right, I, I, this is going to have footage put up on YouTube from above the wing, below the wing, pointing back over. You know, looking out from from the wing, it's just it's a beautiful aircraft. I just want to get lots of footage on. on yeah, um, mainly chase. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, chase. I I can't wait to have a chase and see it, see that on the uh, on Tintinet. Um, you know, I know that on the first flight you want us to fly straight and level. Yeah. Yeah. Now that's gonna have work. <laughs> 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 what was it you said the last time you were? Chasing me, it's quite challenging. I don't think it was the yeah. word you actually used, though. <laughs> <laughs> I th we can't say them words on there um, in broadcast, any words. <laughs> but there you go. That's that's it. I mean, I don't know how long it took to, to put it together, but it's right. Yeah, just receive our rain. Receive our rain. Yeah. Set up on the radio. Yeah. Up in the sky. Yeah. It's simply CG. that. CG. CG. Yeah. So how do you do with CG on this one? Is it by the top wing or bottom the, wing? The CG is nearly always done on the top wing, right? Because obviously both wings have got a different, yeah. different shape, yeah, different position. Yeah. So quite literally, what you need is to, to, to balance it, you know, from where they say, which I think it'll be right at the back of this, but look at the, look at the manual yeah. uh, for to get your CG position, you know. Um, as I say, I'm going to be trying a number of different batteries to get the best performance out of yeah. because I'm not really wanting speed, I want grunt into the air yeah. because that's where all the fun happens up there, doing the aerobatics. Um, and this one is going to do some wonderful aerobatics. And the next thing is, is I know we're going to uh, put smoke on it. Yeah, definitely smoke. But I want to put a smoke system in it. All right. So I can switch it on and off. Brilliant. Um, you know, how I'm going to do that yet, I'm not sure, but this is crying out for it because this, as I say, used to dominate the aerobatic air shows um, yeah. for, for decades. And, you know, for it to just fly around and do the odd, you know, yeah. um, stall turn and what have you, it needs to have some smoke on it. If you're going to have Great. a bit of presence in the air, a bit of smoke. Yeah! What's the detail like underneath the plane on the bottom of the fuselage area? I can the see air intakes and exhausts. Oh, and it's, it's fantastic. I mean, you've got a couple of carburetor um, <coughs> intakes and what have you. The, um, I'll just hold it up and show the camera. Uh, the intakes, fantastic. Beautifully formed. Right, just move that across there like that. Beautifully formed, plenty of air oh, going yeah. in there. That's Fantastic cool, amount yeah. of cooling going in there. And you will need it because I say you're going to be using all the torque that motor can provide you with. Yeah. And the beauty is, right, not only does the air go in, it that actually comes, comes out. out. Yeah. So, you know, a lot of models, they don't have enough outlet. They've got lots of inlet. Um, but they don't usually like, sort of focus on that, so you've got plenty of cooling all the way down through. So every component in there is going to be cooled by that air coming in. Um, so it's fantastic, absolutely delighted with it. Um, just can't wait to get it up in the air, chaps. Brilliant. Fantastic. Any more questions there you've got there? Is this available to buy now? Or? 
It's, ah, that's a good point. It's on pre-order from fmsmodel.com. Okay. Um, Do you know how be, much this is going to be? Um, it's 297 euros. Euros, so probably 270 pounds or something like that. Around about that. It's yeah. about the same for, for dollars. That's like that, no? considering it's a 6S yes. biplane, yeah. that's fairly reasonable that's price just, because you're getting a lot of models. A massive amount of models. I mean, when I first seen it, the sheer size and scale of that model is massive. I know the detail. I know. The detail, yeah. The detail is unbelievable. Along the side, I don't think the camera will pick it up, but you have all of these riveting the points. Yeah. And it looks brilliant. All the panel lines. It's, it's fantastic, you know. The other thing I like about it is the fact that it has stayed uh, to the true traditional pit special colours. Uh, in so much as is you do have your you know, a white going across that way, but on the underside you've got that, right? Which makes a massive difference when you're doing aerobatics because in a heartbeat you can lose orientation. You won't with this, you know, because you can easily see at, at a glance that is completely different to that, which I like that a lot. And that was probably one of the other reasons why I didn't go for the V1 because it was all white. Yeah. And this. This is a class lady, this is. What, um, what, uh, how many channels receiver would you need in that, right? Four. Just four. Would Same you need class. more if you were putting a smoke system in? Oh, yeah, you would need a one for, uh, for, uh, for probably, you know, turn the smoke on and off. So we fly off the beach where the surface is fairly hard. What's this going to be like on grass? On grass? This will not be a problem on grass because that it's got the power. That one, it's got the the power and that has got plenty of flex on it. Yeah. You, know, you can see it there. I'm just moving that back with my thumb. And that will take a fair, fair amount of yeah. rumble along. You know. And landing, well you've seen me landings at the uh, <laughs> beach. It'll handle that no problem. Brilliant. <laughs> so there you go. Just any finishing thoughts? Finishing thoughts are, um, it's very unusual to get a, a, an aeroplane of this quality for that price. Right. Which it's true. Yeah. You know. Oh, I agree. I mean, it's it's fantastic. It's yeah. pro it is it is the best one of my fleet. It's as simple as that. You know. And I. Looking forward to chasing it now. Oh yes, oh yes, yeah. I'll be gentle with you. <laughs> <laughs> so there we go, chaps. Next time you see it, we'll be on the beach. On the beach. And we'll be taking off into that, get that sky, blue sky of the bushing. Excellent. Brilliant, thanks very much, Ray. Right, no problem, anytime.